Well, hello everyone. Uh, it's been a while since I did a new podcast, and I've been going over some of the old ones and getting them back up to speed, but I thought I'd make a new one. In case you don't know, to recap, my name is Ralph Martin, uh, or also known as Brass Dragons, and this is... Uh, Lessons I have learned along the way. So it's just a commentary and talk on some things that I know and thoughts that I figured I would leave. Today's talk is going to be about body and mind. Okay? There's a guru talking on YouTube and you know <clears throat> a lot of people like myself we all leave comments and our thoughts and there's one that been kind of really struck with me and I, I, I've been pondering it over the last couple of days and it I've really kind of taken it to heart and one of the things that they said was, I am not this body. I am not this mind. And that's kind of interesting. It leads a couple of things. Okay, if I'm not this body, if I'm not just this physical being, then what am I? Well, we used to think that we were our consciousness, right? Our mind, so to speak. Uh, or our, our soul was centered in our mind. But he's saying, no, you are not your mind. Your mind is even beyond you. Or actually, the other way around. Actually, you are beyond your mind. And that's kind of an interesting concept that I'm running across that my mind is separate from the me part so what am I well biblically and most religions talk about having a soul having a spirit Wayne Dyer talks about the source a lot and the source can be a lot of different things um, but I, I think he's referring to the creator the maker God whatever whatever our spirit came from at the moment of conception or possibly birth but I would, personally, I view it as a moment of conception, is when the spirit enters that physical being and joins with it. And then the life experiences, lessons, start from there. Because some people have regressed to their not only their childhood but their pre-birth time me I've never gone back that far don't know if I want to but this my I'm not my body I'm not my mind I am my spirit now it in my age, okay, I'm in my si mid-60s. I'm not going to say how just old I am. You don't need to know. But you can tell by the gray that, you know, I've lived, you know, six decades. And, um, I think a lot about what 
does happen in death, you know, because there's, you know, lately they're, you know, it's always on the news. Somebody's always dying somewhere in the world every minute of every day. You know, people come and go. And some are naturally occurring. People just simply expire. Some are tragic. You know, a hurricane, somebody died in that. Uh, somebody died in a war in Afghanistan. You know, somebody shot somebody somewhere. You know, and that, that person died. And, you know, it, it happens all over the world. And it, that part is a shame. That part is heartbreaking for people who lose someone. And I can kind of understand that because I've lost somebody, but I've never lost... Uh, I did lose some uh, a relative, a sister of a daughter-in-law, to violently, to a car accident. But it wasn't the same as someone being killed or murdered. So where does the essence of that person go? Well, if you've ever read anything by the author of Jonathan Livingston Seagull or those type of books, they, they talk about Heaven is being with God. And Wayne Dwyer kind of defines God as being a high frequency, the highest frequency, the highest vibration. Hmm, kind of interesting. Because, you know, all life seems to work on different frequencies, or, you know, like a, a piece of lead or a rock is a rather low frequency. The harder the substance, the more compact it is, the, the lower the frequency. And as things progress higher and higher in material things, you know, the frequency of that object becomes higher and higher. Animals, birds, plants have higher frequencies than solid objects. Well, if, if, if a being has something greater than just the physical aspect, the mind, the brain, the, the body, there's something greater than that, then that would have to be the soul of the spirit. Well, if we could raise our soul and spirit to the highest frequency as some enlightened human beings do, uh, they at some point seemingly join with God because their frequencies are so high that when they let go of this physical plane they move into a place where God is now personally I think God is beyond us we can only understand a small fraction of what God is I'm trying not to personify him as a he or a she or it, but God or, or the source is beyond us in our understanding because we're limited and he is not. Um, so if we could raise our frequency high enough, we would join God. But if at the moment of death, our frequency is very low, then that would be hell. Separation from God. If 
if we're separated from God, that, to me, would be hell. The closer we are to God, the closer we would be to, quote-unquote, be with him in heaven. That's just a personal observation. Take it as you will. Um, but this, but sometimes when I'm, my body is hurting, and there are days that happens, unfortunately, I have to think that I'm more than just the pain. I get, I'm trying to get beyond it. Sometimes when my mind seems to take over, I have to remind myself that A, I am alive. I'm alive in this plane, in this time and place and existence, and I am not just my mind. I'm something else. I'm my spirit. I'm my soul. I am me, which is beyond just my life experiences. There's much more to me than just this physical plane. As I was talking about God earlier, God exists beyond time and place. If God is omnipotent and he is everything and everywhere and, everywhere and connected to everything that as it seems to be, then we all have God within us. As a lot of Eastern philosophies say, that we have God within us. Namaste. Peace be with you, God, in you. I recognize the God in you kind of thing. So God is technically always with us. We can never completely separate from him. But the closer we strive to be closer to him, then the better beings we can be the better our spirit will be. I hope this makes some kind of sense to somebody out there. I appreciate anyone and everyone that listens to this, um, especially to this new podcast. Um, as the time goes on, I'm trying to constantly learn new things. And I believe that uh, life can teach you things if you have an open mind. Here we go. Talking about the mind, right? Open mind, open heart, <clears throat> open spirit. Life will teach you things. But they're very, very subtle. Extremely subtle. And unless you're open to trying to understand that subtlety and the lesson that's trying to give you, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. And that would be a shame because life is always trying to show you something. So, you know, people that have, that are disabled, for example, I have a uh, disabled brother-in-law, and there are times very much that he's in his body. He is what the body is, and sometimes he's his mind, and you can kind of tell. But there are glimpses of times when he's beyond his body and his mind. And all of a sudden, something comes out that's just uniquely his and uniquely him. And it's just absolutely amazing. And I have to believe that that's for every even slightly disabled person out there. Somebody in a wheelchair, uh, somebody, somebody handicapped in some way. That there's a, a spirit within them that's beyond them. So, 
do me a favor. If you're watching this to the end, subscribe, hit the notice button, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. If I'm way off the mark, let me know. Tell me. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to learn something. But if I am on the mark, let me know. Or if I, something I said means something to you, feel free. May God bless you all and keep you well in these trying times. The pandemic is still happening. Unfortunately, we have the new variant, which is tragic. And there's a lot of people out there that aren't trying to learn something new every day and aren't doing their research. And yes, I, I agree, we need to question things, but at some point, you gotta trust somebody. There have been literally millions of people that have taken the vaccine and nobody wants to control the population. They do, but it's, it's in a more subtle way. Uh, so, controlling the population through a vaccine that's been in development for over 10 years. If you have the vaccine, if you haven't taken it for the COVID-19, please, for everybody you love and everybody that loves you, even if it's only God, take the damn vaccine. Get vaccinated. Please. There's somebody out there that needs you that needs to learn something from you and they can't do that if you're not here and you in order to stay here you need to take the vaccine you don't want to end up in the hospital your body is no matter how healthy i don't care how healthy you could be the healthiest person on earth if the vax if the virus hits you it's going to hurt you just like all the other viruses and plagues that have hit, hit mankind in the years past, no matter how strong you are, if it hits you, you are going to get hurt. So please, do everyone around you a favor. If you don't have the vaccine, please get it. May God bless you all, keep you well, keep you healthy, keep you safe. Namaste. This is Ralph Martin and Brass Dragons Podcast signing off.